All right, guys, today's Q&A is, is a two-way better or a three-way? Oh, speaker, speaker. So today's question's from host owner off of YouTube, and he's asking, is a two-way coaxial speaker better than a three-way, and does size or wattage play a factor? Just off of personal preference, I prefer a two-way coaxial, uh, obviously with a nice solid tweeter, like a silk dome tweeter, uh, depending on the application. At most, a three-way. Uh, it really depends on the manufacturer as well. I think well. you're pushing it, but I like the two-way better. Yeah, I like the two-way better, but depending on the manufacturer, if you start getting to like the four-way, the five-way, the eight-way, the 20-way, the 30-way. Do they make them that far up there? Probably, but you're, you're now just adding that plate with more super tweeters that are not even hooked up more than likely and covering up your mid range on the speaker. So you have like a six and a half with like a five and a quarter inch plate full of extra speakers. Which so, is not gonna help you. So you're just blocking the mid range completely. So garbage, you don't want that. If you have those in your door panels, I'm sorry, take them out, put something else in that's gonna be more beneficial and pleasing to your ear and that might be a two way. At most, a three way. <laughs> so, um, there are other manufacturers out there um, that even have what they are called like extended range drivers. So they'll also play, it's a single driver, um, it's, not a, uh, it's not a coaxial, it's just a mid-range that like has a wide band driver. Like a wide band driver, it is wide band driver, yeah. that has the ability to play in the mid-range all the way up into the range that a tweeter would play into. And that's even a good thing to go with too. Um, but those type of drivers can be hard to find and a little bit more expensive. Yeah. Uh, but what's most important beyond all that is also speaker placement and installation methods, but you gotta start off with a good speaker as well. There's also two-way components, three-way components, and both of those are great. I'm not gonna sit here and say a two-way component is much better than a three-way component or vice versa. At that point, it's really gonna boil down to the application and the uh, location of where that speaker is going to be installed if one's going to perform better than the other. Exactly. And as well if you have the locations in the vehicle already for a two or a three way. Yeah, if like on Brendan's Lexus, because um, I used to own one of those as well too. I think I pretty much owned every car at this point. Jeez. Um, Braggadocious over here. Uh, I, Brendan and I always have the same car, except we don't share the same love for the Camaro that's in his garage. I don't share the same love for your M3. I know, it's fine. <laughs> we, we can agree to disagree. But, but anyways. His, his car actually has a fantastic location for a three-way setup. So if you were to get a really nice three-way and put them all in the factory location with a little bit of processing, it sounds great. Yep. Um, but uh, not all cars would obviously be like that. I've seen some of like the Volkswagen, what are they, like the Jetta, I don't know, or whatever. Like the mid-base drivers are back here behind the seat. And then the tweeters like And there. then the tweeters up here, and you're like, and then the mids like, you know. In uh, the kick the, panel. The, the, you know, the mid-range is, it's like all over the place. Like group that stuff together a little bit more. But if you do have the location for a tweeter or a two-way component set, over a coaxial that's a three-way, four-way, five-way, definitely go that route. It's gonna sound a lot better. It's gonna give you a better sound stage overall and better imaging than just a three-way, four-way, five-way coaxial. Especially when it's down here just firing in your leg, you're not really gonna get the full potential of that speaker. And uh, that, that's pretty much yeah, it. Yeah, I think that pretty much sums it all up. We probably talked a little bit about lots of different ways. So uh, we're gonna leave you with all that information. I hope this video helped you out in some way or another. Yeah. Make sure you subscribe. Agreed. Maybe mash that like button if you really do like us. And uh, leave some more comments below for us to answer. Hope and you let us know it. what five ways you have. I'm Brendan. I'm Alan. <laughs> we'll see you next time. <laughs>